Well, officials from Japan's Environment Ministry are revealing problems at sites storing radioactive contaminated materials from Fukushima. Tainted soil, grass and other debris is being held while a new storage facility is planned. Workers discovered bags and waterproof sheets have been damaged at nearly 80 locations. And they say the ground has shifted at more than 100 of the sites. Officials say no leaks have been detected outside the holding sites, but the survey has highlighted safety difficulties with storing radioactive material generated by the 2011 nuclear plant accident. Plans are underway to transfer the waste to an intermediate storage facility. Construction has been stalled due to difficult negotiations with landowners. Ministry officials say they will make frequent checks at the initial storage sites and cooperate with local authorities about how to prevent leaks. Officials with the Japan Meteorological Agency have confirmed a minor volcanic eruption in a central part of the country. They say they've been seeing increased seismic activity since April on Mount Asama. And authorities are warning people in the area to be on alert. More from NHK World's Chiaki Ishikawa. The more than 2,500 meter high volcano straddles the prefectures of Nagano and Gunma. The area is popular with hikers and skiers and has a number of tourist spots, including a resort town of Karizawa. Meteorological agency officials say they are having a hard time getting a full grasp of the situation as the area around the peak is covered in thick clouds. But they say volcanic smoke has been observed near the crater and that a small amount of volcanic ash fell about four kilometers from the mountain. A professor at the University of Tokyo's Earthquake Research Institute says relatively large volcanic tremors were recorded by seismometers installed on Mount Asama on Tuesday morning. Setsuya Nakada says the tremors likely accompanied an eruption. Nakada says that falling ash and other phenomena need to be closely examined before it can be confirmed whether an eruption has occurred. The officials recorded nearly 19 tremors on June 7th. Four days later, they estimate that about 1,700 tons of sulfur dioxide was released. That's about 20 times more compared to surveys from a month earlier. The agency raised the alert level to two on a scale of five last week. In September 2004, volcanic ash from an eruption of Mount Asama fell over a large area. Another small eruption occurred in May 2009. There has been an increase in volcanic activity around the country in recent months. In September last year, a powerful eruption of Mount Ontake in central Japan left 57 people dead and six missing. It was the worst volcanic disaster in 70 years. An alert level of three remains in effect, meaning people are not allowed to approach the volcano. Then just two weeks ago, another powerful volcanic eruption occurred on the southern island of Kuchinoerabu. All 120 residents had to flee the island, and the volcanic alert level remains at the highest level of five. Since the end of April, the popular resort area around Mount Hakone near Tokyo has been struck by a series of minor volcanic earthquakes. Officials warn of a possible minor eruption and have raised the alert level to two. Chiaki Ishikawa, NHK World.
it makes me really sad. New tonight, a wave of small sea creatures that washed on shore and everybody is talking about them at local beaches today. Well, check this out. You can see how far the tide came up right here. Wow, it's a line of hundreds of tuna crabs. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins gives us a close up look. They're not just washing up here in Ocean Beach. They're all over the coastline south in Tijuana and up north in La Jolla. It's like gross. It looked like red kelp until you got closer. Creepy. But what were they? Tuna crab, Presley and Brindley Loader weren't fans. It especially wasn't moving. There were too many to count. So many. Big Brother, the future scientist, had a theory. I believe because the temperature changed in the in the ocean, and the ocean, and they weren't used to it. He probably knew all about the swarms off Baja during warm spells and how it's not that bizarre for them to beach themselves in masses. Yeah. But you couldn't keep these boys away during their field trip. If you think they were up to no good, listen in. We need more water, first of all. Most of them are dead. We're trying to save the ones that are alive. We start throwing them back in, but like they, we noticed that they kept on going back. It's kind of horrifying because some of them are being crushed. Some of them are being buried and and or eaten by like seagulls and stuff. It's quite the bird buffet, but I wouldn't join in since scientists don't know why they washed up. And I don't think the loader girls would either. She's just scared to touch one. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Brave little girls and really sweet boys trying to save an entire beach of those crabs. I think it's really interesting that they are so interested in it. I mean, we could have some future scientists right there. Yeah, I have a feeling more to hear on this story yeah. as well. Folks from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography say that sample tests are being done, which should be finished in about a week. Strong winds across an area north of Tokyo have caused extensive damage. Officials are warning people throughout Japan to be on the lookout for more severe weather. More from NHK World's Shojiro Matsuda. A driver trapped in her car captured this footage of the storm in Guma Prefecture. A convenience store is only a few feet away, but she said she feared for her life. Another resident nearby filmed the storm from her room. <laughs> residents say the weather changed suddenly. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't believe what was going on. The ground was shaking and rumbling so loud. Strong gusts of wind caused extensive damage in a short amount of time. The winds knocked over vehicles. This car was blown into a rice paddy. Two people were injured. Police and rescue officials have been busy responding to emergency calls. The wind blew over and crushed a five meter long solar panel. Long strips of the roof were torn off this farm. The storm damaged buildings, stockyards, and fences. It suddenly went pitch black. I couldn't see anything through the wind and hail. I've never experienced this kind of storm before. Weather officials issued tornado advisories shortly before the storm hit. Soon afterwards, clouds gathered in the area. At the same time, a high altitude cold air mass moved in and the temperature dropped by nearly 10 degrees in just 20 minutes. Experts say these atmospheric conditions might have caused a downburst of winds over 70 kilometers. Officials say weather conditions over many parts of Japan will continue to remain unstable. They are warning residents to watch out for thunder, torrential rains, and potential landslides. Shojiro Matsuda, NHK World.
just can't get enough I take my chances and get all I can I never give it back And I only take the best I don't need a second chance I'd rather die with the rest Tell me I would lose control But I will prove you wrong You, you tell me I would lose it all But I can stop Yes, I'm always late I am steal and make a deal and never regret what I do So why should I change my ways? I'm always on my path and it feels good in the end And you, you tell me I would lose control But I will prove you wrong Tell me I will lose it all But I can't stop Researchers of a Swedish think tank say the number of nuclear warheads around the world is decreasing, but China is bucking that trend. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute published its annual report on the world's arsenal. It estimates that as of January, nine countries maintain 15,850 nuclear warheads between them. That is down by about 500 compared to last year. The report says the prime reason for the decline is due to cuts by the world's two largest nuclear powers, the U.S. and Russia. But it points out that the reduction pace is slower than compared to a decade ago. The report notes that the U.K. reduced its warheads by 10, while France maintained the same level. And China pursued a modest increase, adding an estimated 10 to its arsenal. India, Pakistan and Israel are believed to have kept their warheads at the same levels. North Korea's holdings are estimated at 6 to 8. The institute says that the nuclear-armed countries are working on modernization programs. It says such a trend suggests that none of the nuclear-possessing countries will give up their arsenals in the near future.